off for the MS fundraiser. So thank you to all of you guys. <laughs> I'm Sophia and I'm 16 years old. I got diagnosed with multiple sclerosis when I was about 14. My story started with me getting optic neuritis in my left eye and made me lose my vision, which is how I kind of noticed it. It was a great time, you know, I got transferred to three different hospitals, got a ride in an ambulance, and had my first of many MRIs. It's so crazy how your entire life can change so quickly. I remember going to school that day that I got diagnosed thinking everything is okay with me. And within an hour, every or within an hour I had a new disease. I used to think that this is the worst thing that could have possibly happened to me. You know, when you first start high school, you want to have a good image and are trying to impress everyone. I don't know if that was the case for all of you guys, but it was certainly how I saw it. Um, so when I got diagnosed, I thought my image is definitely ruined. I was out of school for about a month and a half, and the stuff that I heard about me when I came back was just ridiculous. A lot of people came up to me thinking I was going to be paralyzed or that I was going to die at age 30 or just something like that. But when I slowly got older and learned how to adjust to this disease, I learned to just accept it and be more open about it. This experience has changed me for the better. It showed me how to be more self-sufficient and be able to advocate for myself. This disease has also taught me how to push myself and how to get out of my comfort zone. I am hopeful that there is going to be a cure for this disease soon. Modern medication progressively gets more advanced every day. So this is why I walk. I walk for my future and for the hope to me to be able to live a normal life in college. I walk for the newly diagnosed people and the people who have to fight this disease every day. And most importantly, I walk to show that this disease does not control me. Thank you.